हेलो हाय एवरीवन फर्स्ट पीयूसी मॉडल क्वेश्चन पेपर 2024 ना कंप्लीट आंसर इरो वंता हा पीडीएफ ना एब्सोल्युटली फ्री आगे पढ़ कोड इ वीडियो ना तब दे निमेला फ्रेंड्स के शेयर मारी बहार विद्यार्थी गले के दो हेल्प आ गए आफ्टर एमसीक्यूज फॉर फाइव मार्क्स लेट अस गेट इनटू फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स दैट � for which question, which answer suits. So now, sixth question. The number of observation belongs to a particular class is. We know it as frequency. So that frequency is the answer. Then for seventh question. The values which divide the data into 100 equal parts are percentiles. Okay. If by chance it is asked 10 equal parts deciles then four equal parts quartiles like that we would have written the answers but it is asked about 100 equal parts so the answer is percentiles next eighth question for a mesocritic curve the value of beta 2 is beta 2 is always equal to 3 for mesocritic distribution that also we already know so the answer is 3 to be written then question number 9, a set of outcomes of a random experiment is, it is probability chapter question, a set of outcomes of a random experiment is known as event. So, one of the options was given, that's why event has been chosen for this. Then the value of expectation of 2 is, expectation of any constant is again a constant, in place of that constant, constant value is given as 2. So, expectation of 2 equals to 2 again. So, 2 has to be written for 10th answer. As already we know, one extra answer will be given. Here, that extra answer given is 100. This 100 won't suit for any of the given questions. So, it is given extra. Before proceeding further, here is a best opportunity to learn complete syllabus of second year PUC statistics within 100 days and complete academic year support of doubt clarification session also. It will be both for commerce as well as science students. Quality coaching at lowest fees. Actual fees was 5000 rupees but now for you at 80% of exclusive off now the course fees is only 1000 rupees. First batch starts immediately after your first PUC annual examination. If you are a science student with PCMS combination, learn complete PU2 statistics within 100 days and remaining all days you can use for CET, JEE main, advanced and for any other competitive examinations. If you are a commerce student, again learn complete PUC second year syllabus of statistics within 100 days and remaining all days you can use happily for CA preparation, CS preparation and any other competitive examination preparation. Hello, I am Mr. Prasanna Joshi with 13 plus years of teaching experience and 5 plus years of PUC second year board valuation experience. Then what for the delays? Pick your phone, make a call and reserve your seat. Remember, only limited seats are available. Hurry up and make it fast. Let me meet you all with second year PUC syllabus in our class. Mundin prashnagale hogo kinta munche. Second PUC complete syllabus kalioke on the suvarna kasha. Kevala on the nur dius galal kalibodu. Matu kevala one du savira fees nali matra. Second PUC complete syllabus anani kalibodu. Adar jate ge varsha purti doubt clarification sessions kuda irate. Actual fees 5000 rupees a day. Adar nimgoskara 80% off agi. Kevala one du savira rupee nali. ED complete statistics syllabus anna new kali bodu. First batch, nima first PUC annual exam mugithi dhange start agathe. Nima science student agidre, kevla 100 days nalli complete statistics second PUC syllabus anna kalthu. Ull dhella dhivus kalanna nima CET, JWE main, JWE advanced. Matti nne avudha adhru competitive exam ke nima prepare maadhti dhru kooda nua adhukka agi. Complete agi ull dhiro dhivus kalanna nima use maadko bodu. Nima commerce students agidre, Again, complete second year PUC statistics syllabus on 100 days alle kalthu. Uldhella divus kalanna ni wo CA, CS. Matthi niyahu thadru competitive exam na bari odukke, preparation maad odukke, complete agi use maad kolakke, aukashe rathe. Nanu Prasanna Joshi, 
13 plus years of teaching experience matu 5 plus years of valuation second year puc board experience jothege nimage ee class join agakke helta idini mattin yak tada phone togoli call maadi mat nim seat anna book maadi limited seats available irutte nimana second year puc class nalli second year puc syllabus jothege meet aagtini namaskara then after that let's go to match the following a and b part is already given so the data collected for the first time is called as primary data we know that here is the option so better you write in this particular way in the exam graph used to find median is it not ogives yes so graph used to find median is ogives then average growth rate average growth rate will be indicated by geometric mean so in that particular case it can be join to geometric case so average growth rate is geometric mean it can be matched like that next lack of symmetry lack of symmetry is nothing but skewness so lack of symmetry is skewness the probability of null event is always equal to zero null event no favorable outcomes so always probability of null event will be equal to zero probability of null event is zero once again here also this investigator is given as extra answer no need to match this for any of the questions because it is nowhere matching with these given options okay right after this we shall go to one mark question answers wherein question will be given answer is expected to be written in that first question that is question number 16 mention a need of diagrams it is diagrams and graphical representation chapters question mention one need it is said a need in the sense only one need has to be written i have given here four needs for your reference if you write any one among these also it is okay in examination they can be easily understood by a common man they in the sense diagrams can be understood easily by a common man this is what one of the need for diagrams then they facilitate comparison we can easily compare using diagrams that is again one more need they can be remembered for longer period of time when compared to data diagrams can be remembered for longer period of time that is once again one more need they give bird eye view of entire data at a glance huge data if it is there we cannot understand so easily but in terms of diagram when it is represented it gives us a bird eye view exact view it will give we can easily understand those diagrams that is what is one more need as i've already told any one need even if you write in the examination you're going to get one mark for this next question number 17 what is range we know already range equal to h minus l so it is a difference between highest and lowest value of the data given so difference between highest value and the lowest value of the data is called as range if you write this much you are going to get one mark next question number 18 for a data if the value of q2 is 20 already second quartile is given as 20 it is asked fifth decile we know already second quartile equals to fifth decile which is equal to even 50th percentile even p50 if it is asked also answer is 20 again d5 is also 20 so again answer to be written as 20 next question number 19 mention an assumption of interpolation again an assumption only one assumption even if you write you're going to get one mark here i have given for your reference two assumptions no sudden jumps in the value of dependent variable from one period to another which is dependent variable y is equal to f of x will be the equation y will be dependent variable and x will be independent variable so there are no sudden jumps in the value of dependent variable this is one of the assumptions of interpolation then the rate of change of figures of dependent variable from one period to another period must be uniform both the points will give you the similar meaning but 
statements are different any one of these you can write in order to get one mark next question question number 20 define a random variable this is again random variable chapter question we know the definition of random variable that it's a function which assigns a real number to every sample point in a sample space sample space will be there as all possible outcomes for all these outcomes a real number will be assigned based on what we define random variable so it is a function which assigns real number to every sample point in the sample space if you write this much you're going to get one mark